Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create read replicas for SQL Server instance in GCP. Now, let's uh, go ahead uh, and read some information uh, that I had copied from this link. Uh, and uh, this link is going to be available in the description. And you can copy from there and read all the details. Uh, I will uh, uh, just show you this uh, document as well so you can see what information is available. Uh, so, let's uh, take a look what exactly are the read replicas. Uh, you use a read replica to offload work from a cloud SQL instance. The read replica is an exact copy of a primary instance and the data and other changes on the primary instance are updated in almost real time on the read replicas. So that's great. So if you are creating some reports and all that, so this can be very good feature for us. So we don't have to put a lot of burden on our primary replica. We will have read replica and all the reports can run from there. Um, read replicas are read only. You cannot write to them. The read replicas processes queries, read requests, and analytics uh, traffic, uh, thus reducing the load on the primary instance. Uh, you can have up to eight uh, read replicas uh, per primary instance uh, for SQL Server in the GCP. So uh, read replicas do not provide failover capability. So that's one of the things you need to remember. So in other words, uh, when uh, you go ahead and create this read replicas, they are nothing more than uh, um, your availability groups. So, so you have a primary SQL Server instance, uh, and uh, then uh, you you have uh, uh, once you in, uh, enable the read uh, replicas, uh, they are creating the uh, availability groups, uh, and you can see them. Uh, your uh, primary replica is going to be primary. Um, you know for the availability group and then you have secondaries uh, created out of that uh, okay let's go ahead and uh, take a look on this uh, link um, so here i have uh, all those uh, details um, um there is tons of information you can read and especially um all this information is very detailed information. Um, so there are some limitations. Uh, this is only going to be available for inter Enterprise Edition uh, for SQL Server 2017 and SQL Server 2019. That's the first thing. Uh, Logins aren't uh, propagated to the replicas. You must monitor your replicas using T-SQL and SQL Server Management because you're going to see availability groups uh, and uh, you will be able to monitor from the SSMS. Uh, before deleting a database, you must close your database connections. When creating a replica, the primary instance can contain no database in single user mode. That's also one of the limitations. Otherwise, replica creation fails. So remember these limitations. And here are some more information. So you can read that, such as backups. So you cannot configure backups on the replica. That's your primary replica. You cannot do that. And core and memory, then you can read tons of other information available. So uh, it is great actually to read all those things one by one. And uh, that, that can help you to understand what are the primary replicas and uh, what are the limitations. Okay, but we are going to go ahead and perform the demo from here so you can see in the real time. Uh, and let's go ahead and uh, first of all, we will be creating our SQL Server instance. Uh, and uh, we are going to click right there, create instance, and go to the choose SQL Server. As you remember, that uh, the limitation is uh, creating a SQL Server enterprise. Uh, you cannot uh, set the uh, read replicas for set and standard or web or express. Uh, so here I'm going to go and say tech primary replica okay so that's our sql server instance so now i'm going to provide the password and here we will be choosing now either sql server 2017 enterprise or sql server 2019 enterprise i'm going to go with 2019 enterprise let's select the production here and then what we are going to do we are going to choose the region and zonal availability so i'm going to configure the high availability as well with this one because i would like to maybe if my zone goes down i would like to fail over to the other zone in the same region and then also we'll create the replicas for uh, read replicas from that so in my case I'm gonna go ahead and select South Carolina here in the region and for multi zones I'm gonna go and specify two zones one is B and one is C so you see here I am setting a high availability I can fail over my SQL server instance between the zones but there is no failover for 
from the primary SQL server to the read replica. That's your availability group, sir. So you are going to see, I will show you as well. Now let's uh, go further detail and uh, make some small changes here. Machine type, uh, and I'm going to go with the uh, custom and to uh, vCPUs. This much memory is fine for me. And uh, storage, I don't care. I'm going to go with the very small storage. Enable automatic, uh, disable this and uh, leave probably everything uh, let's go to do the connection here as well because we are going to go ahead and do public ip here i'm going to go add my network so i will be able to connect from my ssms that's i have installed on my laptop i'm going to go find out my ip and what is my ip so that's the uh, this is going to open this website and i'm going to go ahead and copy the ip from here so this is my ip come on so let's do that you might hear some noise from my cats come in there are a couple of cats making tons of noise so that's fine in case they're making i'm not gonna bother myself and keep going with the demo so hit uh, done here and uh, now we are all fine and uh, we are going to create an instance so this is going to take some time and i'm going to let this create uh, so this is our sql server instance uh, with the high availability for the zones so you are not gonna uh, we are going once uh, this is created uh, but we can do after that we are going to create uh, the prime uh, read replica out of this uh, sql instance our sql instance is ready and you can see right there that's uh, sql server 2019 enterprise and now what we can do we can connect to this instance uh, by using ssms Let's uh, go to the SSMS and here we are going to go to connect database engine and here I'm going to paste the IP. The default user is the SQL server and I'm going to go ahead and provide the password. And uh, this should connect just fine. And you can see that it's connected uh, just fine. Uh, as of now, you can see right there in the availability groups, uh, there is no replicas added or anything like that. So, but uh, there is the always on availability group tab right there. Let's go ahead and create a database here. And then uh, we will add some tables to it. Uh, I'm going to remove this one because uh, I just need to create these two tables. And here I'm going to go open a new query. And uh, then uh, let's do one thing, create uh, database uh, test and uh, we do that and now we'll say use test and uh, that uh, will use test and here I'm gonna paste uh, these two tables and uh, these two tables are created let's uh, refresh and test database is there let's go to tables and here we should have uh, two tables called student and teachers here we can go ahead and uh, right click and select the data so you can see there that this uh, data is available and now what we can do we are going to go ahead and work on some uh, uh, read replicas right now if you see if i go to the overview i can fail over that does not mean uh, with the anything with the read replicas or uh, high availability uh, sorry availability groups and all that uh, this fail over is between uh, the uh, zones see right there i have this uh, us uh, east one uh, B zone that's uh, right now is uh, the zone for this uh, SQL Server instance. Uh, if I will fail over, probably this will go to the US uh, East to one uh, C. That's uh, that's how it will work. Okay. If uh, we have a complete video on uh, creating a SQL Server with the high availability, that's what we did because we have provided multi zones here. So in case uh, your primary replicas have some problem, maybe zone goes down, then this instance will fail over uh, to the other zone. That's what uh, this happened. But now we need to create the primary replicas. In that case, uh, what we are going to do here, uh, let's go back here and now we see this um, our instance and we are going to go click right there and here you will say create read replica so i'm going to click right there and then we will be creating a read replica so you can provide the name of the instance of read replica i'm going to go let let this as it is and then you can choose a region and zone if you want to do uh, there is no multi zone available here this is going to be single zone and uh, that's already selected uh, south carolina if you want to do in other region uh, you can do as well uh, let's say uh, if i want to go ahead and say north virginia that's possible as well 
so now if you will uh, further go specify a zone any and or you want to select uh, some specific zone uh, for this region you can do that let's go click on uh, show configurations and uh, here you will see machine type now in my case uh, i'm going to be just fine with this uh, that's a small uh, um, machine um, it's uh, two vcpus and uh, 3.75 uh, uh, gb ram uh, connections uh, i'm gonna let this as it is and uh, remember that we have uh, this ip added for our uh, main sql instance and this is also copied uh, to the our read replica in authentication uh, i'm gonna just let uh, everything as it is and you see right there um, there is no backup settings or anything like that because you cannot take the backup of uh, read replicas so we all good here we are gonna go ahead and create a uh, click a uh, read replica and uh, it is going to create the read replica our read only replica is uh, ready and you can see right there the message and now we are going to go to the overview actually click here on the sql and here you can see that that's our primary replica and this is our read only replica so you can see right there that's uh, sql server 2019 enterprise and here it shows the uh, sql server read replica so now that's great uh, what uh, we can uh, click here and uh, we can see uh, some information such as databases uh, so this should have a uh, test database as well and all those other databases are system databases um, now we can uh, go to the overview here and uh, then uh, this is the IP for our read replica so you can see that this is our read replica now what we can do here uh, let's refresh our primary replica here in SSMS uh, so we can see some more information on the availability group um. so now if I go to the availability group here and uh, it's gonna show us uh, this is our primary and uh, then uh, it's gonna show us uh, our availability group uh, replica see right here this is primary and this is a secondary now in the availability group uh, databases uh, test databases uh, added to it uh, now there is no listener because uh, there is no need to create the listener here the only purpose is uh, uh, move the data from primary replica to the uh, secondary replicas um, so we can read that and uh, the secondary instance will be available uh, by using the IP so I'm gonna paste that IP here that we just copied and now what we are gonna do provide the password here is our secondary uh, or read replica uh, available and uh, now if I go to the availability group and here we are gonna see this one as a secondary and uh, this was our primary remember this is our primary instance and this is our read replica if I click right there you can uh, see some information you can see that uh, uh, this is our secondary this is our uh, 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 primary and uh, then uh, we can see the database uh, right uh, there um, so you see that uh, when you create the read uh, replica what happen uh, it uh, create uh, uh, that um, sql server instance uh, uh, with the high uh, with the availability group um, and that's how it is uh, it works um, now let's go right here and uh, in the availability groups uh, uh, let's uh, right click here and uh, take a look on the property and uh, see what uh, it is uh, offering us um, see right there this is our primary then we have secondary and uh, the availability mode is the asynchronous commit um, failover is the manual you can't really fail over uh, for between the availability groups um, so that's not feature is not available uh, but it is just uh, showing all those uh, you know uh, whatever we have default available uh, in this wizard so that's fine now what we can do here uh, we are gonna uh, cancel this one now if you remember that uh, this is our primary replica and uh, if I go back here in the secondary and uh, here you go to the new query and uh, let's say we paste this query there are two records available um, if I go back to our primary and let's say if I click uh, some more uh, I'm gonna go ahead and insert some more data so let's do this in the uh, teachers and student table now if I do that this will be replicated to our uh, secondary here and if I run this query now we have four records um, I put the duplicate records anyways so they are not different uh, now 
that's how it's going to work so you will see when you connect to the ssms you're going to see them availability groups and to check that more information you can always click here and say show dashboard if there is anything going on you know some latency and all those other things you can take a look from here so this is our replicas here and one is primary and one is secondary you can add more read only replicas there and they will be available right here and uh, these are uh, the databases available uh, in that case um, so uh, that's all good here and uh, now if you go to databases here in the primary you are gonna see the test database with synchronized uh, status uh, and if you go to the read only replicas you're gonna see the data uh, base with the synchronizing uh, status here um, that's uh, great now the last thing uh, if you want to do it uh, you can promote this one as standalone instance um, so how you do that then it will come out of the availability group uh, and uh, then uh, our primary server will not uh, uh, this database will be available uh, you know uh, without uh, any availability group because we have only single uh, uh, read replica so if i will make this uh, single uh, read replica as a standalone then uh, this database will be just simple database sitting there on our primary and no availability group will be available so uh, that's possible uh, now if i go back here now what we can do see right there this is where it says promote the replica so I, if i'm on uh, uh, my uh, instances here this is our primary and uh, you can see that this is our read only okay so i can promote this one anytime and make this one as standalone replica or uh, actually i can make this a standalone sql instance so, so i can click on the read only replica and then i can go ahead and say promote replica it's going to ask me question hey once you do it it's uh, going to make standalone uh, instance and uh, you will not be able to revert back or anything uh, so you can uh, click right there and uh, then uh, actually i have to copy the whole thing here from here uh, copy and paste the entire name so uh, we can hit the promoter uh, one more thing I want to show you so if you see right there once uh, uh, you have these uh, primary read-only replicas uh, so your primary replica always uh, show up here and the read-only replicas uh, come under that uh, uh, instance uh, right there but once you promote that and it become a standalone uh, it will be totally not under this one so it will be totally separate uh, so that's uh, also one way to see that and uh, let's promote this uh, uh, replica as standalone now I'm gonna paste this there and it can take some time uh, you know to uh, get promoted and created as a standalone uh, um, instance so our read-only replica has been promoted uh, as a standalone replica now and we can click right here and then see and uh, you can see here here is our primary replica that we have created and this was our read only but now it has promoted as a standalone the version is uh, again same as sql server 2019 uh, enterprise uh, and uh, we can simply click here this is accessible with the same ip you know no ip change in this case uh, we can simply go back to the ssms uh, let's refresh our primary replica and then we will refresh our uh, secondary replica uh, not sorry secondary read only replica that we have uh, promoted as uh, standalone and you will see the availability group uh, part has uh, gone from here so you can see that the test is available on this is one primary replica that we had and uh, there is no availability group tab available anymore uh, with the, those uh, configurations there because we have promoted uh, our secondary as a standalone um, so this was our read-only replica and uh, now we have promoted as uh, uh, standalone so you can click right there and see the database is not uh, in the availability group anymore and uh, the availability groups are uh, deleted uh, as well so this is all good so once uh, you uh, will uh, promote a uh, read only uh, replica as a standalone uh, later on you if you want to create the read only replicas from uh, here uh, this instance is that's also possible um, so if you go to portal here now these uh, is fully a functional uh, our standalone replicas and uh, in case we need to go ahead and create uh, the read replicas that's possible from there as well um, so if i go here 
and uh, now if I'm going to go ahead and create a read replicas uh, uh, from uh, this uh, instance we can do that uh, I hope uh, this video is helpful thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys uh, in next video